Hi, welcome to Primetime Pickleball. My name is Jordan Briones, and in today's video, we're gonna talk a little singles strategy. Let's jump right in. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you a good way to set up a winning shot as the returner. Okay, so in this specific scenario, this is a tactic that I like to use when I'm playing singles. I personally use this and I think that this is going to be very helpful for you out there if you like to play singles. All right, so let's go over this scenario. Right now, I have my wife over there on the other side of the court and this is specifically if you are returning from the even side of the court, okay, the right side of the court. So your opponent will be serving cross court from even side to even side and what I want to do is I want to set up my put away shot at the net okay so I want to return deep I want to hit this deep return towards her backhand side okay if I hit it really hard I'm going to make sure I have to uh, come up to the net as 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 fast as I can okay and if let's say you're a little less mobile and you can't and you don't have the mobility to speed up to the net right away, what you wanna do is maybe float your return or hit your returns a little bit higher, but still deep to give you more time to come up to the net. But what's gonna happen in this scenario, she's going to be serving cross court. So whether I get a backhand or a forehand, what I wanna do is I wanna send that ball deep and I'm hitting a, an approach shot, okay? So as I, hit that ball, I hit through that ball, I wanna start making my way up to the net and I wanna cover right around this area. As I hit this uh, strong return to the backhand and I hit my approach shot and rush the net, the reason why I am not going to necessarily wanna be straddling the center line, I wanna cheat towards my, to my right a little bit is because my opponent will be on the move and because she'd be running to the ball, she was most, she'll most likely be a little late to the ball. So that means her, more, her shots will probably go down the line or towards the middle of the court, okay? If she gets there early, now she, her high, more higher percentage shot, she could probably go for a cross court shot, but because she's gonna be getting there just in the nick of time, she's going to have to try to play a shot, which is probably going to be down the line or towards the middle of the court, and I, I'm here to cover that, okay? So that's, that's why I cheat a little bit to the right, okay? And after I hit that approach and come up to the net, what I'm gonna do is because my opponent is probably going to be digging that ball up because she's going to be moving, uh, she or him is going to be moving, hitting that ball, this, this right side of the court is most likely going to be open. So the shot I want to hit after that is I want to hit an angle volley towards her forehand side because she's going to be, have to run back to that side. Uh, for the majority of players, their backhand side is usually going to be the weaker side of the two. So this is why on serving on this even side, this is the play I like to use often. Okay, right, so this is very effective because she's on the run, okay? If I really get it deep to her backhand, I have a lot of options if she's off balance or on the run, okay? I'm, I'm crowding the middle of the net, it's an approach shot. So it, for those of you who are not comfortable with coming up to the net, if you hit a really good shot to the backhand side like that and you come up to the net, that applies a lot of pressure on your opponent. Now, if you hit, if your turn is very weak or, or very high and you know that they have a lot of time to set up for the shot, maybe you want to stay back at that point, okay? This is only if you know you had a good clean return and then you want to apply pressure on your opponent by, by rushing the net. Okay. Okay, so that was a great example there. So 
use this if you are looking into getting better at your singles game this is a really good tactic that you can use in a game okay so remember try to on this especially on this even side i really try to hit deep on that on that return apply a lot of pressure and after i hit that return i'm trying to rush the net to apply pressure to my opponent and usually it, this angle volley will be open for you depending on the kind of shot that they hit but nine out of ten times this shot will be here for you and as a put away or even if they get to that next ball then the left side of the court is now going to be open for the winning shot so go go out there and practice this i hope this helps and yeah and we'll do more singles tips in the future but thanks for watching this one and we'll see you in the next video if you enjoyed this video please give it a like thanks so much for watching for more free video lessons, please visit primetimepickleball.com. But before you head on over there, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Also, for primetime pickleball shirts like this and other great apparel, please visit ptpgear.com.